going home guys look at this do you hear that dog that dog boring me i have something here behind me this backpack and i have something here on my head which is my big washing up powder that i went to buy i carried it guys yes carried it going home do you know that a lot of people don't like this a lot of africans don't like it when i carry stuff they said i am not in africa some says that i am embarrassing my children when i carry stuff how am i embarrassing my children when i carry my stuff how is that embarrassing my children something is wrong with my children then if they're going to be embarrassed that their mom is carrying her shopping i'm not naked or anything just carrying my shopping how is that embarrassing my children anyway guys don't mind people i'm going home guys hope you're gonna enjoy this video i have a little good honest talk with you guys and yeah if you like it give it a like i'll see you again soon inshallah enjoy hello <laughs> assalamu alaikum guys how you all doing i should be looking at you guys from here yes i think from here mm -hmm. if i look here i'm looking at myself <laughs> how you guys doing so guys i'm here grounding mm -hmm. i'm grounding guys it's cool and i'm not wearing something thick not too cool but little cool and the sun sign is there the park is there right now it should be around 11 in the morning something like that mm -hmm. but it's not very warm but i want to have some little bit of sunshine and i'm gonna go and buy some washing up powder so i can wash the clothes for the children and the towels and the white um school school wear so yeah guys i want to talk to us this morning i hope you guys are doing well <laughs> sending you all some regard some blessing some happiness wealth peace and just whatever good you want in life i'm sending it all to you guys guys sending blessing so um i'm gonna talk about a little bit about my weight loss this video is not gonna be long and then i'm gonna talk to you guys about what i'm up to this year is a year of change and i must finally heal myself guys this healing journey that i'm doing over the years i must finally heal myself by myself guys inshallah we are all capable of doing whatever we want as a human as long as we don't give up and for me my goal is to not give up what i've been through to not give up myself to not neglect myself to not be a same or height but to come out heal myself and even heal others if i can and talk about why i have this for the first place um to begin with sorry <laughs> and to hopefully even help to prevent this from happening to others so yeah we shall all not give up on our goal in life guys uh so yeah guys i woke up with a little bit of cold this morning so i did a little bit of uh steaming my face just before i left the house not long ago if you have a cold just steam your face with hot water you can put some peppermint oil in it or some um anything minty you know this rub is it called vibo rub or something i can't remember the name this rub this mint rub that have the blue cover this pot yes it's very good you put some little bit of that or you put a little bit of peppermint oil with the hot water put it in a bowl and put hot water and then cover yourself pardon me so i did that uh just like 10 minutes ago or so for about six minutes mm -hmm. so i feel like my cold is my nose is less blocked and less because i woke up with my nose a little bit of sore soreness and a little bit of like you can feel like the cold is coming but i'm gonna do that again when i come back i'm grounding here the grounding is very good for your health 
I do it, but it's been cold, so I couldn't really do it. But today it's okay. It's a little cold, but not too cold. I can ground today for at least 10 minutes talking to you guys here, and then I'll go. So, yeah, guys, I've not ate this morning. I Well, I had a little bit of fruit, which I film. So what's happening is I'm filming like what I eat. I filmed yesterday what I had for dinner and after that I had another two pieces of chicken again with a little bit of salad because my daughter did not like it. My daughter is a bit stricter than me right now with the halal chicken thing. I do eat chicken that is not halal sometimes when I cannot go all the way to the halal shop. But my daughter is little strict. She doesn't like any meat that is not halal. <laughs> Bless her. So she couldn't eat hers. So then me and my son eat it later on, you know. Um, so I had two of hers again later on. Around, it was like six o'clock that time when I had it. But my first one, I had it around half past two, two o'clock. Around two o'clock, yes. I remember that's the time that I had what I had. I think so. I don't remember if I say the time on the in, in the video, but I'll post it. So what's happened is I'm collecting like everything that I eat every day and I'll post it like at the end of the week or something. You'll see. So you guys can have an idea of what I eat for if you're joining me on this weight loss journey. I'm not too strict with it, guys, but we'll see. I mean, with the eating, but I'm trying to be more strict with it now. Avoiding too much rice and eating rice off to and stuff like this. Today I will also show you guys what I had, what I have when I ate something. So I had uh, one orange, small orange, and two mandarins. It's like this small oranges, mandarin. They like the really tiny ones. I had two, and I had a little bit of grapes, like a handful of grapes. I had that with a cup of ginger and lemon and honey just now, and some clove in it, like two or three clove. So that's all. When I come back, I might have a little bit of porridge with a little bit of chia seed or a banana or something. I want to have chia seed today. I've not had it yesterday, I think. Yeah, I had it ch chia seed yesterday. With that. By the way, yesterday I filmed that video and I was telling you guys I had chia seed with uh, apple cider vinegar and some honey and, and you know in the water. And then I say sea butter. I was like, what? I watched the video after I posted. I said, see a butter. I was like, oh my God. That's the video that I was standing, you know, filming myself to show you guys my weight loss journey and how I look now. Don't mind me. I'm not eating sea butter. I don't know if you can eat it. I think raw sea butter that is purely raw. People eat it, especially in the olden days. They can cook with it and stuff, but I've never tried it. It wasn't sea butter, guys. I think I should take that video out and then edit that part and post it again. I don't want people to be eating sea butter because of me. <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen to them well i don't know i think if the sea water is good it, it should be fine but it's hard because i'm looking at the sun sign is on my face here guys so it's hard to talk to you guys yeah guys uh so that's what happened for me today and stuff but i want to talk to you guys about what i'm gonna be doing from now on about the uh, you know like i said to you guys about the self-healing that i'm doing so i've been doing a lot of research and reading and stuff you know just to finally get there like i said to you guys over the years um over the last few months that my healing is almost there it's just sometimes i feel this uh, this fear and worried that can make you react like uh, especially when it's come to the community with their behavior or just when anything triggers you so uh i am almost getting there because i am reading books psychologists and what they said about childhood trauma and what they can make you do and i know this from the beginning of my healing journey but i never get it like i get it now you know how sometimes you have to go back to something in order to really get it so yes guys just finally surrendering to life guys surrendering to knowing that us human we are like this you know and we have done a great work of goodness and we also have done a great oh, yeah. <laughs> it's the dog <laughs> that's okay <laughs> it's a dog guys sorry it's just that cute dog out there 
he just ran to me and I'm like, why? I'm very African with the dogs. I get scared still. I'm not going to edit it. I'm going to post it like that. You guys know me, yeah. So what happened is, us human beings from day one, we've been very good. We did a good, uh, great job of doing kindness, but we also did a great job of things that are not too kind. And sadly, we just have to agree to the disagree and know that humans are like that. And they've been, we've been like this from day one. So I just had to surrender to that. And also just surrendering more to controlling, you know. Knowing that you cannot really control people or how they behave or what they're going to do or what they're doing, you know, to you or others. Now, this is very hard for us human to surrender to this one. We're going to keep pulling and, you know, like dragging, trying to control humans and their behavior. But sadly, it's not going to get us anywhere. For me, I think part of my healing, the only part that I got left now is that part but it's more to it why you know it's like that it's not like you know i'm controlling humans and stuff it's it's hard to explain it's just like it's a human thing you know even when you have a child or a friend or a partner and you have that fear of abandonment and have that fear of they will do things wrong or they will ruin their life or they will ruin the relationship or they will ruin the society and stuff like this that's what i mean we all have that fear most of the time because we get it from the way we see humans influence each other because the reality is human can influence each other in a good way and can influence each other in a bad way and that's the reality so you're gonna have the fear to protect humans you know and protect yourself because basically when you protect yourself you're protecting human for the most part and for me i think it's because of what i've been through i just want everyone to have peace so much that it can end up being like a big trouble for myself and for people so just learning to just surrender more i'm surrendering i just have to surrender more i know that and i'm getting there inshallah guys confessing the truth is the first step to healing or changing anything <clears throat> and i'm so lucky that i don't have ego i always confess the truth to myself <laughs> i thank god for that so yeah guys just surrendering more and just focusing more on things that i have instead of instead of focusing more on the things that i don't have or i lack before you know and stuff like this or which is things that happen to you because what you don't have then is the opposite of what happened to you so yeah guys just wanted to have this with you guys this little conversation it's not easy especially when you have children like i said sometimes the children are doing things that you don't want and stuff like this and it's hard to surrender you know that you're surrendering to not bring up the children or talk to them but you're just surrendering more to controlling people and what happened to you you cannot control what happened to you or what's gonna happen to you you can try to prevent it but you don't know what's gonna happen that's the reality because this is just nature and you cannot also control you know the children what's gonna happen to them or what they're gonna do to themselves or something like this because we all just human just less worrying guys is what I'm trying to say less worrying secure attachment uh, and the, the opposite of it which is which is unsecure attachment what's the english word and codependency i will do a video about codependency i'm learning more about it i'll do a video about it if you guys want that let me know codependency oh i have to open my eyes for that one no sun will stop me from opening my eye for this one guys very exhausting what's the english word very tiring very unfortunate that some of us have this you know because of what happened to us or sometimes you copy it from a parent or from something like this but most likely from you get it from what happened to you growing up And a lot of us do have this kind of childhood that can lead us to this sadly, especially us black people, especially us African black people. So, 
I'm gonna finally do topics about that. This year is all about continuing to be real, continuing to heal myself and others, whoever wanna heal or just listening, listening for entertainment, listening to my healing journey and, my, and the things that I share with you guys for entertainment. I'm not surrendering to anything wrong, guys. Never. I'm just gonna surrender to the right path every day I wake up, guys. Yeah. And I'm so proud of myself on this healing journey that I always, every year, I learn new way of healing more, new way of surrendering the wrong thing every year. I'm so proud of myself and I said, thank God, Alhamdulillah. So yeah, guys, I don't want this video way too long. I'm going to leave you guys here right now. And yeah, have a great day, evening, morning, night, whatever time you're listening to this. I'm sending everyone blessing, praying for us to be awake and face reality and do the right thing and yeah thank you so much don't forget to like it if you like it or share it with someone who might want to hear this and yeah guys see you soon inshallah bye take care